January 9th. Uh, just coming down to check a few coyote snares. Have a look around. Uh, yesterday, I checked these snares at about 3.30 and well, I had an unusual catch, we'll say. Not something you expect in a coyote snare, but check out uh, some footage from yesterday, you see what I mean. Hey guys, 13 Prevail here. And just down checking a few coyote snares. And look what I got in a snare. <laughs> Unreal. Snared him around the mouth. He must have suffocated it. A little bowl. But I guess I'll have to call uh, Wildleaf and see what to do about it. So yeah, I was talking to uh, Wildleaf, RCMP, Natural Resources. I was talking to about eight different people actually and by the end of it they just told me to leave it. They're not coming to look at it, they're not coming to take it. Just, they just said leave them. Use them for coyote bait they said, so that's what I'll do. I didn't intentionally uh, catch the moose, but shit happens. And so this is the snare I caught him in. No damage to the snare except for the kink. It's a little lock on there. <clears throat> there was no struggle or anything. He just laid down and died. It's unfortunate for him, but what can you do? Uh, yeah, it was a freak accident. He just happened to put his snout down at the wrong time, I guess, so. Accidents happen, you know. It's too bad for the moose, but it'll make the coyote bait, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I don't know if it's happened before to anybody, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty freak accident. Later.